on behalf of the Miss Universe organization, a joint venture between NBC Universal and Donald J. Trump, it's the 2010 Miss Teen USA. Club Golf Course. We're on hole number seven. The golf course was built in the year 2000. We're known for our spectacular ocean views. Enjoy playing the golf course. Stormy, what are you doing? What do you mean? The show starts in a few minutes. Oh my gosh, it does. Every time. Get your place. Hey, everybody, let's get this party started. It's live. It's now. From Atlantis, Paradise Island Resort in the Bahamas, it's the 2010 Miss Teen USA pageant.
please welcome to the stage American entertainment reporter and producer who appears daily on NBC Mobile and the entertainment pages of MSNBC.com, Seth Goldman. And she was Miss USA 2008, Crystal Stewart. Second time, double trouble for us. Especially with you, Seth. Oh, I missed tear, you. Tear. Thank you so much. I missed you too. It's only been a year, but uh, the contestants have been working very hard on their quest to become Miss Teen USA 2010. This evening, they'll be judged on everything from swimsuits to evening gowns and some answers to some pretty tough questions. You know all about that. I know a little bit about that. By the end of the night, one young lady will walk away with the crown and the coveted title of Miss Teen USA 2010. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. And you guys will be treated to a great musical performance, as well as many of you know, the Miss Universe organization has launched several big name music careers, including NSYNC, mm. Jonas Brothers, oh. and a lady named Lady Gaga. I'm not sure if you've heard Ga of her. Oh, you know, I think I have. Like a YouTube station or something. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I don't know. But uh, tonight, you'll be treated to a live performance by the next great country star, the reigning Miss Teen USA. You just saw her, Stormy Henley. Ooh. Yeah. But before we go any further, I think we should learn a bit more about the 51 young ladies competing for her crown, don't you? I agree. So let's do it. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? Here we go. Are you ready to meet the contestants? Let me hear you. Ashley Malangi, 17, Alabama. Kaylee Scott, 18, Alaska. Tori Vance.
Now we each get one of those too, right? That's my contract, I think. I already, I have one. Oh, okay. Sorry. You know, I probably I, wouldn't look good on I me. I can either, make one for you. Oh, thanks. Maybe like plastic like or something. Like a paper one. Okay, that works, that works. There we go. Anyway, <laughs> while being crowned Miss Teen USA is exciting, it comes with a very big responsibility to set an example for young women across the country. And no one knows that better than last year's winner. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Miss Teen USA 2009, Stormy Emily. <laughs> Please, but uh, I can't believe it was a year ago that you were crowned Miss Teen USA right on the stage. What was going through your mind? Well, I thought Georgia had it the whole entire time. We were roommates, and I saw her pulling ahead, and I was like, good for her. <laughs> I think we all knew it was going to be you. So moving from Tennessee, a small town there, to the Big Apple, must have been a difficult transition there, but also may have been inspirational for your music career. It was, and the saying is, you know, there's millions of people in New York, but when you're alone, you're alone. So that was kind of hard, and that was my inspiration for the song. It was, you know, you're up there, but, but there's still nothing like the South. Okay. There you go, there you go. The South is in the house. Whew. Lastly, you've done a lot of charity work as well over the past year. Can you talk about that? Yes, I have worked with Girl Talk and Best Buddies and Sparrows Club, Project Sunshine, and D.A.R.E. So much fun. I made a couple of speeches at D.A.R.E. and that was, it was really fulfilling. I hope I really affected at least one person there. Because I can share my story about not drinking with them and kind of be an inspiration. Wonderful. You are. Thank you very much. Let's give it up for Miss Teen USA 2009, Stormy Henley. <laughs> Judges view the contestants in a preliminary competition. And as well, they got some help from the members of the Miss Universe organization. They determined who would make tonight's final cut. <laughs> Auditors, do you have the results? Uh, who are you going for? A feisty crowd we got going yep. on here. Okay. Here we go, you guys ready? All Ladies right. and gentlemen, here are this year's top 15 semi-finalists in completely random order. First up, Alabama.
you can relax now. Wyoming. Up next is Maryland. We've got three to go now, and the next is Utah. says she plans to save lives every day. She dares to care. It's Alabama. Next up, we have Washington. 17-year-old Camilla Sear plans to be a successful broadcast journalist. The 17-year-old hopes to one day interview the President of the United States and dignitaries from other countries, so please welcome Washington. Arkansas. 18-year-old Megan Burgess says she wishes she could have met Princess Diana before she passed away. She really respected how kind-hearted the princess was, so please welcome Arkansas. Next up, we have Illinois. 17-year-old Lexi Actons likes to keep herself busy, even if it does get a little overwhelming at times. She finds it easier to stick things out by keeping a positive attitude. Please welcome Illinois. Here we go with New York. Tatiana Diaz says her passion is writing. The 17-year-old is always jotting things down and especially likes to scribe stories and articles. So put your hands together for New York. Mississippi. 17-year-old Haley Brooks Sowers puts countless hours of practice and dedication into her cheering. She likes to say if football was any harder, it would be called cheerleading. So please welcome Mississippi. Tennessee now. 18-year-old Kristen Rose enjoys meeting all the other contestants when she competes. She says it's great to be around so many positive people. Making friends and having fun, it's Tennessee. Let's do Kentucky now. Kentucky, 15-year-old Taylor Hubbard loves meeting new people and making friends from all walks of life. She says she's met some of her very best friends through the pageant scene, so please welcome Kentucky. With Florida, we have 17-year-old Alyssa Rivera. She loves to act. She says she's been trained by some of Broadway's brightest stars and has participated in numerous school plays and productions. Taking the stage, it's Florida. California. 18-year-old Emma Baker's friends describe her as someone who will listen, help, and always do favors. They also call her respectable, responsible, and hardworking. She's the perfect pal, California. With Wyoming, 17-year-old Caroline Scott worked at the Cheyenne Surgery Center and says her dream to be a pediatric oncologist at St. Jude's is her dream there. So give it up for Wyoming. Maryland, 17-year-old Tammy Crawford hopes to become a dermatologist. She says that beauty is more than skin deep, but clear skin can give a woman the confidence to unleash her inner beauty. Please welcome Maryland. Here we go with Utah. Angelina Nicole Layden loves taking care of people. This 18-year-old says she has a natural way of helping others with their problems. Lending a helping hand is Utah. Oklahoma. 
Every week, this 17-year-old Candace Holtz visits her local boys and girls club. She enjoys coloring with the children and sometimes even teaches them a few dance moves. Please welcome Oklahoma. Last and certainly not least, Virginia. For the past several Christmases, 16-year-old Jacqueline Carroll has gathered gifts from local businesses and stuffed stockings for people in her community's senior citizen center. Keep it going for Virginia. Here we go, so Miss Teen USA 2010 is off and running, and all the semifinalists seem worthy of the crown. I'd be very, very tough decision if I had to pick the winner. Oh, I'm not God. sure about you. I'm glad I'm not yeah. sure. Luckily, there are VIPs <laughs> from the worlds of entertainment and fashion to make those tough decisions. On that note, let's meet our remarkable judges. Okay. Do she it. serves as an ambassador for Curzer International in their resorts, including Atlantis Paradise Island. She's an active philanthropist who currently resides in London with her husband and two children, Heather a Las Vegas-based radio and television personality, he's the creator and host of the top-rated radio show Chet Buchanan and the Morning Zoo on 98.5 KLUC. He's also a frequent contributor on Fox 5 Las Vegas. More for Chet Buchanan. She's been Teen Vogue's beauty and health director since 2003. A graduate of John Hopkins in the School of Journalism at Columbia University, on the importance of self-esteem, nutrition, and empowerment, as well as mascara and lip gloss. Eva Chen. An Emmy-nominated producer, he's been part of some of the most successful television shows of the past decade, including The Celebrity Apprentice, Get By It, uh, Last Comic Standing, Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Chuck LaBella. As president of People's Choice, he oversees the annual award show and the year-round entertainment website, peoplechoice.com. His TV appearances have included ABC, Fox News, CBS, and ET. And he was chosen as a pop culture expert by the producers of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and their Brain Trust Lifeline, Fred Nelson. Last and certainly not least, she's president of Michelle Malcolm and Associates, a public relations marketing and event planning firm which produces the annual Miss Bahamas Beauty Pageant. She's a broadcast veteran who has worked in pageantry at various levels for more than 25 years, Michelle Malcolm. Okay, thank you judges. We're counting on you to choose a magnificent Miss Teen USA 2010. Yes. Now, you know, Crystal, I, uh, I admit here, sometimes I wonder what it would be like to be a Miss Teen USA. What? <laughs> uh, maybe, Why? Uh, That's for women, Seth. Ah, uh, maybe that came out First wrong. First you want a crown, and now you want to be Miss Teen USA? Something's a little fishy here, I apologize. Oh that gosh. certainly came out wrong. Let's continue It's here. a little creepy, but it's yeah. okay. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> but if there are any girls that, who want to know how it is to be Miss Teen USA, they're in luck. The Miss Universe organization has teamed up with Atlantis Paradise Island to offer young ladies between the ages of 12 and 17 a sneak peek into the life of a Miss Teen USA contestant. Take a look at this year's camp. I recommend the Miss Teen USA Fantasy Camp for anybody who wants to be in a pageant and for anyone who wants to have fun, meet new people, and have their confidence grow. My favorite part was definitely getting to meet all the pageant title holders and all the new girls who are going to be doing the Miss Teen um, USA pageant. My favorite part has been earlier today when we walked the runway and did the dance in front of the other Miss Teen contestants. If you don't want to grow up to do pageants, you can learn self-confidence and make friends and be in the Bahamas. All right, all right. Now, I'm not sure you may have uh, noticed I have left the stage. I am now back here. I'm with actually one of the fantasy campers here. Here is Mary. How is it going? It's wonderful. Excellent. Fun. A lot of fun. Good. So what was the past week been like for you? 
the past week has been absolutely crazy. We've been living the life of a contestant without being a contestant, not getting all the sleep, but having all the glamour. It's been wonderful. One day, maybe we'll see you up there, hey? Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Crystal, back to you. I'll see you there. All right. <laughs> For information about joining the fun next year, email fantasycamp at atlantis.com. Okay. Now it's time to get down to business. We're just moments away from seeing our top 15 walk the runway in Jamie Shaw swimwear. Seth and I, we know how nerve-wracking it can be walking on the stage in front of a big crowd in a, in a bathing suit. After all, I was the former Miss USA, and I think now you're like currently a, a Speedo model, right? Speedo model, huh? Yeah. I don't know about that. I got a lot of trouble areas. I think you should be a Speedo model. Well, very well. Maybe we'll hook that up. Maybe Miss Universe can hook that up. But uh, anyway, let's get started here with these women. We begin the Miss Teen USA 2010 swimsuit competition with Alabama.
Yuta. Virginia. That sandwich, I guess you could say. Uh -oh. yeah. Hey now, hey now. So, uh, <laughs> so as uh, Crystal said, you were the first Arab-born woman to win Miss USA. Yeah. What was the reaction as far as your fans? Well, they were throwing tomatoes. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, it was a wonderful experience. And to me, I think that I didn't expect to win more than one crown. And the fact that I won the crown of Miss USA and also the crown of being titled as the first Arab American to win Miss USA, it was like a, a great honor for me. Thank no you. No now, being from Michigan, you finally got to go back since winning. What was that like to see your friends and family? It was, let's just say, I think when I left from Miss USA, I arrived at the Detroit Metro Airport out of a Lorraine cab. And <laughs> I huh. came back, and people are recognizing me, and they're going, USA, USA, <laughs> USA. <laughs> So it was a wonderful experience. Thanks to my wonderful Miss Michigan director, Melissa Pitchford. She made a wonderful four day of nothing, but thank you, Melissa. And my Miss Universe organization, everyone put it together so well. So I got to see everything and sleep one night in my bed. Woo. One night in your bed. Yeah, on that note, I can't believe it. Are you getting a slump sleep? We're really concerned out there. Everybody is. I know. Our president, Paula, she's more concerned <laughs> than our, our own mommies, I think. But no, who wants to sleep? I'll sleep next year. Right, I guess so. <laughs> I'm Miss USA right now. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, you spent the 4th of July in China. I'm not even sure if they celebrate the 4th of July in China. Also, you went to Rwanda, too. So what has it been like to be this world traveler now? Um, you know, like my little brother calls it, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Because <laughs> he's always asking me where I am. I think in the last month, I went from Rwanda with the same sky bracelet to Vegas to introduce Miss Universe. That's August 23rd at Mandalay Bay. And then Houston, then China. And I got to host the USA Pavilion at the World Expo. So it's been quite an experience and nothing but a dream. Your passport so must be very heavy. That's what I, you know there. what? I want all those pages stamped, <laughs> but then I realize a lot of our representatives need another passport. So I'm like, oh God, maybe I'll get a secondary one. <laughs> 
Cool. Thank you very much. We'll Thank see you. you at Miss Universe next month on NBC. Yes, everybody. Miss yes. Universe. <laughs> Miss USA 2010 Rima Faki. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for tonight's special musical performance. It's my pleasure to introduce the next big thing in country music. Performing her single, Quite Like Me, give it up for Stormy Henley. Not in Crossville anymore. Not in Tennessee. Don't want New York so long way from the sun. Seven dead bolts on the door. You don't know anyone at all. You're swallowed by the sand. And when they say, Come on, you left a simple life. We both know you left more than that behind. You traded tractors for taxis. You traded back. Both know there's nothing quite like Tennessee. There's nothing up north quite like me. One in a million feels so small. Pick up the telephone and call the one place you'll never feel alone. So write your song. Wow, one more round of applause for the talented Stormy Henley. Wow, look out Taylor Swift, huh? 
All right, so you know Stormy may seem like a smooth musician, but she definitely has a goofy side, too. If you don't believe me, let's check out a few of her video blogs that she posted over the past year. Hey, everyone. It's my video blog for the week. I got in trouble because I didn't finish my work. As much as I'm trying to do my work right now, I really don't know how to do it, so I'm just acting like I'm doing it. It's pretty exciting seeing myself on a DVD, especially the cover of the DVD. I went and I volunteered at Project Sunshine. Got to visit a hospital, it's a Mount Sinai hospital. And the back has little parts throughout the pageant. Me in blue dress. And me almost putting my hand on my hip, but not yet. I got to see lots of little kids and take pictures, do interviews, sign a million autographs. It was so much fun. Pageants, I'm okay at. Acting, not terrible at. Shopping, bad, bad. With a face before impact. Don't tell the nutritionist. But I drink lots of Coke and Red Bull and Monster and Twinkies and Oreo Cakesters and pizza and anything else you could think of is terrible for you. I still eat like a six-year-old, but I, I enjoy my life. Stormy, you still have the, the unicorn on your face. You know that, right? What? The unicorn is still painted on your face. Is it really? I didn't, oh my god, I didn't take it off. Oh my god. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> We're now just moments away from the evening gown competition. But first, we'd like to take a moment to say thanks to a special group of individuals who've shown support to the Miss Universe organization and the Miss Teen USA pageant. Yes, without their generosity, the following people, this production would not have been possible. We'll start off with Mr. Saul Kirsner, Chairman and CEO of Kirsner International. They call him Mr. Atlantis. <laughs> Next up we have George Mark Antonis, the President and Managing Director of Atlantis Paradise Islands. Also, please give a round of applause for the conference services and special event staff here at Atlantis, including Michelle Wolcher, Ellen Poth, Donna Lowry, Bill Conneran, Glenroy Pratt, and Quentin Brennan. And of course, let's give a big round of applause for the president of the Miss Universe organization, Paula Shugard. Yeah, I've been waiting all night. <laughs> so let's just see how elegant and glamorous our contestants can be. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome all 51 of our teens.
semifinalists and figure out who would make the perfect Miss Teen USA 2010. Judges will not be judging on the gown itself, but the poise, grace, and confidence of these amazing young women. So we begin the evening gown competition with Alabama.
Utah. Virginia. job to pick her winner. Feel bad for these judges here. Oh, I, I'm so glad I'm not a judge right now. I'm glad I'm on this. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in order to give judges the time they need to decide, we're now going to have a 15 minute inter excuse me, a 15 minute intermission. Feel free to grab some coffee, a glass of water. Oh, and make sure you pick up a program book in the lobby. Yep. When we come back, our judges are going to reveal their top five. You are not going to want to miss it. See you soon. Welcome back to Miss Teen USA 2010. Once again, here's Crystal Stewart and Seth Golden. All right. Huh. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you love her dress here. Fabulous, Crystal. Wow. Wow. W O W. Of course, of course. So, in a matter of moments, the remaining contestants will be narrowed down to a final five. There is no turning back now. The judges have cast their votes. Seth, will you please pick up the results from our auditors? Tal Goldhammer. Congratulations, California.
turn up the pressure with the final question. Let's find out a little bit more about each finalist. All right, let's do that. Here we go. Okay, Seth, whenever you're ready. All right. Let's start off with Mississippi. How's it going? Awesome. Congratulations, get this far. So we hear that you enjoy the great outdoors with your family, but don't always wear traditional camper clothing. Tell us about that. Well, I do wear makeup camping. I know it sounds silly, but I like to be cute when I go out. And sometimes I do wear wedges. What's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with that. All right, thank you, Mississippi. Here we go, Utah. Congrats, congrats. Thank you. So, tell us about the archery contest that you won. Well, it was against 10 other boys, and I was the only girl, and I got first place. Very impressive. Good job, thank you, Utah. All right. Here we go with Maryland. Hello, hello. Now you're a self-described technology nerd. What does that mean? Well, I love new gadgets. I absolutely love my BlackBerry. My BlackBerry is my life. I don't think that I could do anything without BBM. And um, I just, I used to be the one who used to play video games when the girls were playing with Barbies and stuff. So I'm a little bit of a nerd, but it's okay. Is <laughs> a little iPad yet? Oh no, my dad has one though. Dad, never use it, you shouldn't have. I'll borrow that. Okay, thank you very much, Marilyn. Here we go with California. How's it going? I'm excellent, how are you? All right, all right, so let's do this. We hear you're quite an accomplished soccer player, so tell us about your playing days. Well, I played for seven years, and when I, in 2006, I got to go to Sweden and play in the Youth World Cup. It's called Gothia Cup, and we made it to the round of 16, about 160 teams, and it was one of the most amazing experiences. Watch the World Cup? Yes, well, we were there while Italy very cool. Thank you, California. And lastly, Illinois. Good evening. Good evening. Congratulations, getting this far. Thank you. So, you said that you like to have lunch with Molly Cyrus one day. Why is that? I would love to have lunch with because she's just a normal teen girl, I feel like, and she hasn't let any fame change her personality, and I really admire that about someone as an aspiring actress. Cool, very cool. Thank you, Illinois. All right. Well, we're almost ready to announce who walks away with the prizes, the crown, the title, and if you really pay your cards, right? A Seth Goldman autograph headshot. <laughs> but first, the final question. All right, now this is the round where we find out the fate of the final five, so here we go, Crystal. We will ask each finalist to pick the name of a judge who will in turn ask a final question. Seth, all right. it's all yours. Here we go, let's start off with, again, Mississippi. <laughs> to the fishbowl you go. Thank you very much. The first question from the judge is uh, Heather Kersner. serve two weeks. Do you think this is fair? Why or why not? I don't think this is fair at all. If you may, if you commit a crime, then even though you're a, someone famous or a celebrity, then you should pay the punishment. Thank you. Thank you, Mississippi. Traveling now to Utah. Pick a winner. This question is from Chuck Labella. Hi, Miss Utah. How are you tonight? Good. Good. What would you say is your biggest flaw, and what are you doing to improve it? My biggest flaw is my driving skills. I definitely drive way too fast, and I need to improve on that by driving slower and obeying the law. <laughs> We're going to slow down now. Thank you, Utah. 
Let's do it, Maryland's. Let's see what you got here. Thank you. Michelle Malcolm. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Your question is, what would you say is your biggest contribution to society so far? Well, definitely with this title, I've used it to go around um, my state of Maryland and talk to girls about you know, self-confidence and self-esteem and how to really show their best self and be their best self because I think that that's the most important thing is just going out there and showing everybody what you've got and not being afraid to do it. Thank you, Marilyn. It's your turn, California. Here we go. Let's see. The winner is... Eva Chen. Hi, California. You look beautiful tonight, as do all of you guys. Thank Congratulations. You. Um, so my question is, if a teen posts a picture of herself drinking alcohol on Facebook, should she face legal consequences? Why or why not? Well, I would say that first of all, it is all about choices. It's your choice to put up the photo. It's your choice to be involved in the photo, and it's your choice to drink. So whether or not you choose to follow through with your actions, I think that if you post something, you suffer the consequences, just like Lindsay Lohan will. OK, California. And of course, Illinois. Let's see what you got here. This one is from Chet Buchanan. Hi, congratulations on top five. Thank you. Bristol Palin has recently said that her mom really doesn't approve of her re-engagement to Levi Johnston. So, should Bristol follow her heart, or should she listen to her mother? Well, I think she should always get advice from her mother and listen to the advice. But personally, if she loves him and if she really feels comfortable with him, then I don't think she should only listen to her mother, because her mother doesn't have to live with him for the rest of her life. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Illinois. Okay. Great job, ladies, and no matter what happens here, you guys are making remarkable friends, great memories, but there only can be one Miss Teen USA 2010, so will it be Mississippi? Or could it be Utah? Much more. Much, much more. Much, All right. Much more. Much more. <laughs> 
And before we find out who's going to win that amazing prize package, we have some very special awards to hand out. So first up is Miss Congeniality, no relation to Sandra Bullock. Now behind the scenes, there is usually one girl whose personality really stands out. She's the type of girl that Edward and Jacob would uh, surely fight for. That's a Twilight reference for all of you out there. <laughs> anyway, she's friendly, funny, and easy to talk to. All the contestants get to vote for their own winner. So Crystal, who'd they pick? Oh, wow. Well, I don't know. You tell me. All right. <laughs> Miss Congeniality goes to Idaho. Congratulations to Texas! Perhaps I will see you on the red carpet when I pick up my People's Choice Award for Best Host. Yeah, that you, uh, you will win the host. We'll see about that. I know, for sure. I know. Fingers across. <laughs> Let's give all our contestants another round of applause. They did an absolutely amazing job tonight. Amazing. One of the best shows. Solid, solid, excellent. All right, so we are getting very close to crowning tonight's winner, Crystal. I am so excited. Very I'm getting excited. chilled. I'm They're nervous so for him. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, getting crowned is such a special moment, and each winner seems to have a unique reaction. Let's take a look at some highlights from all 27 past Miss Teen USA pageants. Now. I'm going to read the name of the first runner-up and then the name of Miss Teen USA. The first runner-up is Miss Virginia. Miss Teen USA is Miss New York, Ruth Zakarian. Pass, I'd like to invite Stormy Henley back to the stage to take her final walk as Miss Teen USA 2009. Runner up is Georgia. So the Miss Teen USA 2009 is Tennessee. For the past year, I've been living a dream. Being crowned Miss Teen USA 2009 was such a shock, and my reign has been amazing. My year has been filled with a lifetime of incredible experiences. At times I felt like a celebrity as I walked the red carpets next to supermodels and household names like Alessandra Ambrosio and Paula Dean. I have always wanted to be a country music artist and I recently recorded my first single and even attended the CMT Awards. No matter what I was doing, I looked and I felt like a superstar thanks to my amazing sponsors. They certainly know how to treat a girl right. I've learned some very important life lessons during my reign. Life is unexpected, so be prepared for everything. Don't take life too seriously, because life is a concept of mind over matter. 
If you don't mind it, it don't matter. Be open to people. You never know who will end up being your best friend. Business is business. Don't take it personally. Most importantly this year, I was humbled with the opportunity to work with the Miss Teen USA Cause Alliances, Best Buddies, Sparrows Club, Girl Talk, Dare, and Project Sunshine. They continuously remind me of what's really important in life. I consider myself blessed to be surrounded by loving family and friends and having been able to work with some of the most talented people in the industry. I am truly thankful to Mr. Donald Trump, Paula Schubert, and the entire Miss Universe organization for giving me the opportunity of a lifetime. I was proud to represent you all this year. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Let's give her a round of applause. Stormy Henley, Miss Teen USA 2009. Congratulations to a beautiful and wonderful Miss Teen USA that will always be in our memories. We love you, Stormy. We love you. Great job. All right. Okay, now one of these ladies, their lives are going to be changed forever. Who's going to be crowned Miss Teen USA 2010? Man, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Who could it be? Let's go and uh, auditors, I think we're ready for the results. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Here are the official results, signed off from a man, Tal Goldhammer of the accounting firm Ernst & Young. And you know, Tal actually just became a first time dad, like on Monday and he still came out here, very impressive, not sure if uh, his wife is going to be very happy with that. He may not have a home to go home to, but uh, he can always bump with me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, one of these five spectacular women will be crowned Miss Teen USA 2010. So here we go. The fourth runner-up for Miss Teen USA 2010 is Mississippi. USA cannot fulfill her duties. The first runner up will take over. Good luck, ladies, and congratulations to both of you. Take a moment to breathe. I think we need a moment to breathe as well. I'm getting nervous for them. Here we go, the big moment. The first runner up is Illinois. And so Miss Teen USA 2010 is Maryland. Thank you 
to my beautiful co-host, Crystal Stewart, as always, and to remember as well to uh, watch Miss Universe next month, August 23rd at Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. Good night.